Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. 2018 Fireballs here, back with another MLB 9 Innings 22 video, and we're back with a showcasing series today, guys, and I'm super excited to review the three new teams today. As always, guys, if you want your team to be showcased, don't forget to send me an in-game friend request to 2018 Fireballs. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and last but not least, don't forget to leave a comment down below in this video with your team name requesting to be showcased. Those are all very important. And yeah, without further ado, let's hop straight into the three new teams. First team we have is Fire Blaster 1245. Thank you, bro, for sending in your friend request. I really like the Red Sox, so I'm really looking forward to reviewing your team today. Uh, starting off with your DH, you have JD Martinez 2018, a card I really wish I had since he's so good. Train, looking at it right now, 20 to the right side, way too high. Definitely want to get a better train for power, eye, and contact on him. He's way too good to have a bad train on. Uh, looking at the skills, you have Slugger Instinct Charisma, awesome skill set. Uh, flashing the leather as a third is kind of a dud. It doesn't do anything for him since he's a DH and you have him in the DH spot right now. But by no means uh, do you want to change this skill set for now. Keep this skill set and develop it and definitely special train him and retrain him when you can. Christian Vasquez 2020 is your catcher. Not his best year, but still a really good card. Uh, development 22 to the right side. Way too much to the right side. Uh, definitely retrain him. If you do retrain him, I would also mention, uh, if you do get high fielding, I wouldn't consider that a bad thing as long as it doesn't take away special training points. High fielding on a catcher is pretty good considering that catchers uh, throw out base runners when they steal and it really helps out in ranked. Also, high fielding on catchers gives better bonuses to pitchers that have the stability skill, so keep that in mind as well. Looking at his skill set, Master Base Thief Prediction, uh, not a great skill set, but you would, could go ahead and re skill him when you can and have enough skill changes and if you plan on buying the team select signature pack when it goes on sale again uh, and you anticipate getting him uh, you don't need to retrain him or reskill him but if you're not doing that go ahead and retrain him and reskill him uh, like i said but this is a very nice card and a very good card that you can make when you retrain and reskill him first baseman is ryan howard 2006 this was his mvp season a very good non-team card uh, train's not too bad. 11 to power is very nice. 6 to contact is good as well. And his eye is only at 4, but only 12 to the right side through 12 levels of training is not that bad at all. Looking at his skills, training junkie, barrel it up, 5 tool. Uh, good enough skill set to have on him. If you don't plan on keeping him for long, uh, definitely don't need to skill him up again or reskill him and don't need to retrain him. But if you do plan on keeping him as your 25th man, I'd say go ahead and retrain and reskill him or keep training him and then reskill him. Second baseman, you have Dustin Pedroia 2016. I really wish I had this card so I could give you, I could have used the skill change ticket or the sig change ticket on him rather. Looking at the train, 15 to the right side is very doable. Uh, I'm liking that. 15 to uh, power, 13 contact, 14 to eye. A good, good train right there. Special training balances out nicely between all three of them. Uh, if you're really picky, since he has low base power, you could retrain him for higher power, but for now, I would keep this train. Looking at the skills, heavy hitter, reliable charisma, a good candidate for a blue ticket or a green ticket. Uh, if you do plan on using green and blue tickets, this is a great candidate. Uh, even this skill set isn't that bad either. Uh, if anything, you would protect charisma, obviously, but a very nice card that you have. I uh, really wish I had this card. Shortstop, Xander Bogarts 2019. I believe this is his best year. Uh, maybe his 20 and 21 card are better. I'm not too sure, but wow. Crazy power on that train. 22 to power, 11 to eye, 7 to contact only though. It's hard to pass up on that power, uh, but in my opinion, I wouldn't even retrain this. This is just way too much power um, to pass up on. So definitely keep the train for now, even though 17 to the right, 17 to the right side is a little high. I would keep this train. Skill set, triple threes again. Uh, another good candidate for a blue ticket or a green ticket. Uh, if you have a lot on hand, then I would consider using it on him. But again, if you plan on buying other things like the Team Select Signature Pack in the future, uh, definitely consider that and be wise about how you train him and how you skill him up. But this is a very nice card. Third baseman, you have Evan Longoria, 2010. An interesting choice that you decided to black diamond him even though he's not a team player. Uh, let me know why you did that, I'd be curious to know. Train is really nice, similar to Bogarts, he has high power on the train and high eye, but low contact and high speed and high fielding. 
and he's maxed out at special training. So what I'd say about this card, since he's in a team card, uh, don't need to retrain him. Keep him on your team as long as possible, but then replace him with a team third baseman when you can, uh, probably Kevin Euclid or Raphael Devers. Skill set is awesome, so yeah, I can see why you kept this card the way it is. He's a very nice card with nice skills. Uh, that's all I can really say about it. It's a very nice card, but then replace it when you can with a team card. Left fielder, you have Andrew Benintendi, 2018. I have his uh, 17 year, but this card is very good as well. Train is really nice. Uh, 14 to the right side is really good, and 16 to power, 14 I, 13 contact. Love the way you were able to get the special training distribution with that train. Uh, looking at the skills, definitely need to get better skills. Uh, two golds or three golds, even if you could, if you have my luck. I wish I could transfer some of that luck to you on this card, like I did with my Benintendi. But yeah, definitely get good skills on him when you have enough skill change tickets. This card will be a beast for you when you get him maxed out. Center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr., 2017. Uh, one of his better years. It's actually better than his signature year, uh, base stats-wise. Train, looking at it, 14, 13, 14, and then 16 to the right. A little high, but you can keep it. It's pretty doable for now. Special training as well doesn't really line up the way you want it. Ideally, you want power first, and then contact or eye second or third. But a good train, good enough to keep for now. Skill set, uh... Maybe you don't have him skilled out up all the way, maybe you do. If this is another triple three set, then definitely uh, consider him for a green ticket candidate. But if it's not, uh, definitely go ahead and reskill him. You need at least two gold skills for this card to be really good, since he does have a lower base um, and lower power than a lot of other Red Sox cards. But this is a good enough skill set to keep for now. Definitely focus most of your skill changes on the Ben Benintendi though. Then in right field, rounding off your lineup, you have Mookie Betts 2018, his prime year, a really good card, and the train is okay since you have special training going to all three of the main batting stats. Uh, 16 to the right side is doable. You could retrain him if you want to, but there are other cards you could prioritize, uh, like the, uh, who was it, the Vasquez and the Martinez. Looking at the skills, Spotlight 5 tool player is average. Uh, it's okay, I guess it works well for you if it comes to the near future you should probably reach reskill him since he is a prime card this is his best year as well and again like i said consider if you are buying the team select signature pack definitely consider uh keep that into consideration as well as you may pull his sig but a very nice nice lineup that you have looking at your starting rotation john lester 2010 so sad they just removed him from the game but good job at getting his card before he did retire, and a good choice to Black Diamond him since he is out of the game now. So, uh, looking at the train, very nice. Only 6 to stamina, 17 velocity, 13 location, and 11 to break. Looking at the skill set, Untouchable Dominant Pitcher. Uh, doesn't get the Dominant Pitcher bonus, but I've heard that Untouchable Dominant Pitcher doesn't work that well in the higher levels of ranked. It's a keepable skill set for now, but definitely change the skill set when you can, or even open up a skill storage and try to roll for a Legend skill. Second in your rotation, Jacob DeGrom, 2018, his Cy Young Award year. Very nice train, 20 to location, 14 to velocity. Stamina does get the third special training, but this is a very good card nonetheless. Last boss, dominant pitcher, doesn't get the bonus, but he's not a team card. So definitely keep him the way he is for now. Don't worry too much about him, but replace him with a team card when you can. Third in your rotation, Drew Smiley, 2016. A decent Tampa Bay Rays starter. Uh, there are better ones, and there are definitely better Red Sox starters. Train is not that bad. 15 location, 12 to fastball, 11 to velocity. Uh, finesse pitcher, dominant pitcher, firefighter. Wow, you got a triple three set. Um, dominant pitcher, finesse pitcher works really well from my experience. So I can see why you kept him in your lineup. Uh, definitely, it's going to be hard to replace him with a team card. But when you can, definitely do that. This is probably your best pitcher uh, from what I'm seeing. Looking at Chris Sale, 2018, your fourth starter. Awesome card. Awesome training going for, uh, for him so far through 14 levels, 13 location, 8 to velocity, and only 3 to stamina. I'm liking that very much. Definitely get good skills on him when you can. Uh, this card will be in your lineup for a long time to come, probably forever unless you pull his SIG. So definitely develop this card to the best of its ability, and yeah, keep up the good work on this card. Adam Wainwright, 2010, prime card. Looking at the train, beautiful, wow, only 2 to stamina. I'm, I'm impressed by that, that's really good. 10 velocity and 7 location is also really, really nice. 
and five to fastball is not too shabby as well. If you wanted to, I could um, recommend skill changing this card when you can if you plan on keeping him in your lineup. He is only at level 10 though, so he is uh, more viable to be changed out of your rotation with a team card. Uh, but do as you wish with this card and uh, reskill him, retrain him, or keep training him, or replace him with the team card when you can. Bullpen, you have Kenley Jansen 2015 for your first setup man. Train's looking nice, only 7 to stamina. All the other stats are higher than stamina on training. Then you have Giant Crusher Untouchable, uh, less than decent skill set for a setup man. Uh, but he's not a team card, so I wouldn't worry about him too much. Then you have Byung Hong Kim, 2003, 16 out of 16. A lot of break to his train, a little high on stamina. So on this card, I would focus a little more since he is a team card. Uh, retrain him for less stamina when you can. And looking at his skill set, not too bad for a setup man. Last boss, untouchable. Uh, from my experience, that works okay. But I definitely want to try to get something, something like setup man or last boss, dominant pitcher, finesse pitcher. Uh, winning streak would be okay in the setup role, but I've come to think that winning streak is more better for, or more suitable for the closer role. So definitely try to get something like setup man, last boss, finesse pitcher, or dominant pitcher in the future, but you can keep that for now. Then your third relief pitcher, your middle reliever, first of all, uh, first middle reliever is Houston Street. Uh, train is not too bad at all, 11 to velocity is really nice. A little high to stamina, but he's not a team card. Giant Crusher Untouchable Setup Man, that's actually not a bad skill set. I would go ahead and upgrade uh, Setup Man and Untouchable to max level. And you could keep this card in middle relief for a long time. He's at 12 out of 12. Uh, or you could switch him out with Kenley Jansen. I would personally switch him out in the setup role with Jansen just because he has the Setup Man skill. And as the Setup Man skill implies, he would be better in the setup role. Second middle reliever is Craig Kimbrell 2018, his second best Red Sox year. Definitely want to retrain him. 12 to, uh, 12 to stamina is way too high. Uh, setup man, last boss. Okay, very good skill set. So what I would do is definitely take Street and Kimbrel and swap them with Kim and Jansen. Since they both have the setup man skill, uh, they do get an extra boost and they do become better pitchers. Uh, but definitely retrain Kimbrel and replace him with either hit Kim or Jansen and use Street to replace Kim or Jansen. Just swap those two cards with the middle relief cards and then your rotation will significantly improve in ranked. Just trust me, it, it, I know it does. Then Matt Barnes, your long reliever 2020 card, one of his good years. Uh, not too worried about him since he is your long reliever, but he's a team card so definitely consider developing him and replacing him maybe with Street or Jansen in one of the middle relief roles or setup roles. Then last in your rotation, you have Fernando Rodney, 2012 card, no longer available in the game. I didn't realize how crazy the break was on this card. That's actually really insane. Train's not bad at all. Uh, a lot of break along on, on top of a lot of that break already. Uh, three to stamina is really nice. Iron Will cleaning up your mess. Uh, not a great closer skill set, um, but definitely keep this card in your backups, but replace him when you can with a team card. But yeah, overall your team is looking really nice. I enjoyed looking at all your cards. I was very surprised at Bogart's train with that high power. And I really like your Chris Sale card. If you can develop this card right, he can be a beast. But yeah, thank you again, Fire Blaster, for sending in your friend request. And I hope to talk to you later on. And if you have any questions, just uh, send me a message and I'll be sure to get back to you. But let's move on to the next team uh, in the showcase. Next up, we have Pooper Scoopers, also known as Ben R on YouTube. He makes MLB 9 Innings 22 videos just like I do, and I know he would really appreciate it if you guys showed him some support. Uh, so go ahead and check out the link in the description box down below uh, to his YouTube channel. He makes great videos and great content. Uh, he runs a Brewers team with a Diamond S set deck and a Brewers S set deck, so I'm not really going to be criticizing or critiquing any of his players unless I feel the need to, uh, which probably won't happen unless it's really small, but hopping straight into it. At his DH, he has Jesus Aguilar 2018. Uh, beautiful train, 13 to the right side, power first, I, uh, contact second, I third. 151 power is amazing, and that's in down condition. Slugger Instinct barrel it up, great skill set. He does get the barrel it up bonus since his contact and speed are very high. Uh, they add up to over 145, so that's very impressive, or sorry, 125. So that's very impressive. Catcher, Yasmani Grandal 2019, 
Uh, very good Brewers card. Only 11 to the right side, beautiful train. 19 power, 14 contact, 13 eye. Amazing stuff right there. Charisma, Slugger Instinct, Heavy Hitter, Home Run Machine hitting uh, hitter right here. First baseman, Eric Thames, 2019. Not playing in the MLB anymore. He's back in Japan, I believe. Only 12 to the right side, or sorry, 13 to the right side. Very good train. 16 to eye, 14 power, 14 contact. Uh, this is a very good train uh, since he does have very low eye. Getting first special training points to eye is very important on this card. Looking at the skills in the back, Charisma Spotlight, another amazing skill set. I'm actually kind of surprised that you haven't um, Black Diamond this card yet to get a triple three set. Uh, a triple three set in the sense of three diamond skills or uh, three gold skills. But nonetheless, this is a very good card. I would definitely keep it the way it is. Second baseman, you have Travis Shaw 2018. Another beautiful card, Black Diamonds, 12 to the right side, 19 power, 14, I, uh, 14 contact, 12 eye. Just simply beautiful. Spotlight Charisma Slugger Instinct. Can't say much more about that skill set than wow, and that's just amazing. Looking at shortstop, Robin Yount, 82. I know you are looking for his vintage cards and you struggle very much trying to pull Black Diamond material for him, so uh, best of luck with that in the future. But amazing train, amazing skills. Uh, looking at that train again, only 15 to the right side. So this train could use a little work if you wanted it to, but he's a really good card nonetheless. Edgar Martinez at third base, looking at the train, 14 to the right side. Special training lines up perfectly. And then looking at the skill set, heavy hitter, spotlight, slugger, instinct. Uh, definitely a blue ticket candidate to get a triple diamond skill set. Um, but heavy hitter is already a really good silver skill, so he probably does hit a ton of home runs as well. Uh, also considering that he has Slugger Instinct Spotlight, both very good home run hitting skill sets. Then in the left field, we have Ryan Braun 2011 Prime. So they added him back into the game, but ended taking him back out, which is very weird. I just noticed that now, but anyways, 13 to the right side, beautiful train, special training is all maxed out. Barrel it up, Training Junkie Spotlight, he does get the Barrel it up bonus way over the limit for the barrel it up bonus or way over the uh, threshold for the barrel it up bonus so that's definitely an amazing skill set to have and training junkie is an awesome third center fielder chris davis 2015 he's not even at black diamond and he has over 150 power this is probably one of your best trains right here 20 to power 13 to i 11 to contact only 13 to the right side and then you have spotlight slugger instinct exhaustion almost a perfect skill set but an excellent skill set at that. And he has high power, so he definitely hits a bunch of home runs and ranked, which is what you want out of this kind of card. Then finally, in right field to round off the lineup is Christian Yelich 2019. It was a shame that he couldn't uh, play after that injury during that year and lost the MVP to Bellinger, but awesome skill set. Charisma Spotlight A Specialist. Spotlight at level 8 is great. 150 to over the contact and 150 over to power. Just an amazing card. I can't say much about this other than great job and keep working on all the other cards that I don't even know what I'm saying right now. This is just an amazing card, a great team to review right now. But definitely, definitely an amazing card. All right, looking at the pitching. Starting pitcher, you have three legend starting pitchers, which is outstanding. I don't even have one. Definitely looking like a finesse train, only six to stamina, 21 location, 13 a break. That's kind of overkill on the finesse bonus, but you do have dominant pitcher, last boss, and finesse pitcher. You can't go wrong with that skill set, just amazing. Then you have Bob Feller, another great legend uh, starter. And looking at the train, looks like you have another finesse train. Yes, you do. Finesse pitcher, cleaning up your mess, and untouchable. Another baffling skill set right there. Then your third starting pitcher, another legend, Burt Blylevin. 17 location, 17 to velocity. Eight stamina is a little high, but he's a really good card. Finesse pitcher, dominant pitcher, last boss. Beautiful skill sets on all three of those cards. And the nice thing about them is that you didn't get a legend pitcher or you didn't get a TNT or any of those cards that have low velocity. All three of these cards have great velocity for legend cards, so 
good luck, and that was really good luck on those cards when you pulled them. Looking at Corbin Burns 2020, his Cy Young Award year. This is a beautiful card. I wish he had his SIG. Only 4 to stamina, which is amazing. And then De Diamond Pitcher, Finesse Pitcher is a very, very good skill set to have. And Giant Crusher, uh, less than decent third skill, but this card with the basic stats is more than enough to be an excellent card. CC Sabathia 2008, his signature card. Uh, this card we talked about a while ago, uh, but his stamina is kind of high. So I'd definitely try and retrain him if you can. Cooperative Pitching Mess Stability, uh, if that works well for you, definitely keep it, but I know others would beg to differ and say change that with a green ticket. Uh, whatever works for you, I know you know the game very well and you're very knowledgeable about skills, so if this works really well for you, definitely keep it. Uh, but others would say skill change, and if that's the case, go ahead and skill change and retrain. Starting off in your bullpen, you have Josh Hader 2018. Awesome train, 22 location, 13 velocity, only 3 to stamina. That's just beautiful right there. Finesse, dominant, pitching machine, exact same skill set that I have on my David Price. Definitely a keeper in the setup role. Then you have a Devin Williams, 18 location, 16 velocity. High stamina, but that doesn't even matter because he's such a good card with those base stats. Fireballer, mess, setup man, excellent skill set right there. Not much more I can say. Middle reliever, Drew Pomerantz 2019, another very good reliever for the Brewers. 22 velocity is insane, 12 to location, 11 to break, 7 to stamina is good enough. That works well. Iron, <clears throat> Iron Will Fixer, perfect for a middle reliever since you kind of expect him to come in when you're losing so he won't allow as many hits when he comes in. Second reliever, uh, middle reliever, that is, Jacob Barnes 2017. A lot of break on his base stats, but you did a great job with the train. 22 to velocity, uh, 13 to location, and 8 to fastball. 7 to stamina again, really good. Then looking at his skill set, fixer, last boss, 3-4-5 specialist. Amazing skill set for a middle reliever. Then finally, your long reliever, 16 velocity, 16 to fastball, and then dominant pitcher, Iron Will, cleaning up your mess. He's a long reliever, so that doesn't really matter. Um, if you could black diamond him and get pitcher's chemistry, that would be great. And then you have closing. I've seen this card before. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Pooper Scoopers is my club mate, so this is why I'm talking in this way. But regardless, amazing card. 18 in the break, 17 location, six to stamina, and the skills are unbelievable like i can't say you can do any better on this card this is just the perfect skill set and it shows when you play ranked but what can i say this team is amazing i wish i had a team like this um yeah that's just a great team uh thank you for sending your request bro uh, i really appreciate it and i, I really had a baffling time and a very interesting time reviewing your team. I just can't say much about it because of how good it is, but thank you again. And we'll move on to the last team in this video. Alrighty, last but not least, we have the one, the only, Fufu and his team to show off. Now, he has a Houston Astros team, Diamond Asset Deck, Houston Astros Asset Deck. Just like Pooper Scoopers, I am not going to critique this team. This team is just to show off. It is simply amazing. Uh, many of you guys know Fu from the live stream at the beginning of the year with Jfish and AKs. If you have not, go ahead and check that live stream out. Amazing things happened that day, and it was a great overall live stream to watch. But let's hop straight into Fu's team with his designated hitter, Chipper Jones, 99 legend. I mean, this guy's team is just phenomenal. Only 10 to the right side. Bad ball hitter, master base leaf charisma, just beautiful skills right here. The only cards he really needs is either a Jordan Alvarez Sig or a Kyle Tucker Sig. Um, if he could get those, those would be perfect for the team. Uh, just, it's baffling looking at all these cards. 12 to the right side on this Jason Castro catcher card. Triple diamond skills right here. Beautiful skill set. Um, I would die to get this skill set, to be honest, for any of my players. Looking at Paul Molitor, another legend at first base. Only 11 to the right side, beautiful train. Again, a triple three skill set. Since he is a legend, uh, easier to get, but nonetheless, triple diamonds. Just beautiful, barrel it up, batting machine, slugger instinct, can't do much better than that. Jose Altuve, 16. 
8 to the right side. That is insane on the train. And 150 power on Altuve in up condition, which is really nice. Barrel it up prediction, charisma. Great way to go to barrel it up on at level 8. He more than meets the need for the barrel it up bonus, so awesome job on that card. Then Bregman 2019, his best year. Crazy base stats. It's just a beautiful card. Only 8 to the right side, just like Altuve. 22 to power is crazy. I'm loving this card. Charisma, Slugger Instinct, Banding Machine. Practically the best skill set, in my opinion, that you can get uh, without getting a Black Diamond skill that is on a card. Just simply amazing. Then you have Dan or Doug Raider right here. Triple 3 skill set. Look at that. Charisma, Slugger, Spotlight. And then Train. Only 11 to the right side. 21 to power. That's a great card. Another legend, Billy Williams, 1970. Looking at the train. This train may look bad, but in retrospect, when you look at the skills, Charisma, Batting Machine, Barrel It Up, he does get the Barrel It Up bonus with that train. And he already has high stats to eye, contact, and power. And I'm surprised, actually, at this one thing that you didn't go with the Barrel It Up to level 8. Uh, if you could, letting me know would be great. I wonder why you didn't go Barrel It Up. But... Nonetheless, this is an amazing card and amazing train, amazing skills. Center field, George Springer 2017, sadly not his best year. His best year is his 2019 card, so that could be an improvement in the future, but you already have him as Black Diamond. He already has 23 power, only 10 to the right side, and he has triple three diamond skills. Just wow. Spotlight barreled up, batting machine, another baffling skill set. Last in the lineup, Jordan Alvarez 2019. 64 base, but he has great base uh, base hitting stats to the left side, and he has a great train, only 13 to the right side, spotlight slugger prediction, another great skill set, and just looking at one person on the bench, I noticed your Ozzy Smith, not the greatest card, but he had 28 power, 28 power to the train, which is incredible, and you have batter's chemistry on him, which makes him even better. This card is a terrible card, but you made him good by getting 28 power, and you still can't fit him in your lineup because your team is so good. That's just amazing. Looking at the rotation, a full black diamond. Full black diamond. Pitching rotation. Garrett Cole 2019, his best year. Awesome train, only 6 to stamina. Skills, stability, amazing. Dominant pitcher, finesse pitcher, though. Take that away. That's just beautiful the skill set and finesse pitcher to eight makes him even way better he even gets the finesse bonus just a great card right there i can't say much more oh man 74 74 base to dallas keichel 20 to the velocity 19 to location only five to stamina slow starter finesse pitcher pitching machine doesn't get much better than that if it were a gold skill with pitching machine that would be even better, but Pitching Machine's a great third skill anyways, so a great card here. Justin Verlander 2019, too bad he's not in the game at the moment, hopefully he gets back in the game once the season starts. Great train, only 7 to stamina, location velocity, get the first special training points priority, and then you have slow starter last boss. Probably want to use a blue ticket on him, but that's all I can say about this card. This card is amazing, and it's just baffling to look at. Two legends, two more legends, I should say, in the starting rotation. Tom Glavin, 1991. Only four to stamina, 21 location, 16 to velocity. Special training lines up very nicely. Finesse pitcher, dominant pitcher, control master, triple three set. This card dominates for you, I can guarantee. It dominates for you in ranked mode. Juan Marichal, 20 out of 20. 19 velocity, 16 location, seven to stamina. And triple three set. Finesse, cooperative, dominant pitcher. I think that's the exact same. Wow, that is the exact same skill uh, skill set that Glavin has. Wow, that's crazy. Exact, exact carbon copies. Except, except, I just noticed this. Except Glavin has Dom. He has the dominant pitcher bonus. Interesting you went with that since he does not get the bonus, but... He's still a great card. You can't go wrong any way you do this. Foo, you can't go wrong any way you train these cards. They're all amazing. Will Harris, crazy card. 144 location, 144 velocity, 20 development points to uh, velocity, 19 to location, 7 to stamina. 
Boss, mass dominant pitcher, triple threes. Again, amazing. Davinsky, 2016, 6 to stamina, 20 location, 18 velocity. Just beautiful. Finesse, untouchable stability. Again, triple three set. You could go for another diamond skill, but this card is good as is already. That's just impressive. And then middle reliever, Rob Roberto Ozuna. Not in the game anymore, but this is a signature card. It's 19 velocity, 17 location. And looking at the skills, great middle relief skills. Finesse pitcher, fixer, cleaning up your mess. Not bad. If anything, cleaning up your mess is a good skill set on a middle reliever. Uh, typically because middle relievers will allow hits, so they want to have that um, cleaning up your mess to avoid getting nerfed on their points. But great card. Again, great card. Gen Ken Giles, 2017. 20 location, 18 velocity, only one to stamina. Wow. That's a train that anyone would go for any day of the week, any time of the year. Amazing. Finesse pitcher, last boss, fixer. Great skill set for a middle reliever. Then, long reliever, even your long reliever is impressive. I can guarantee it. Definitely. 16 location, 16 velocity, 7 to stamina. Pitcher's chemistry. He doesn't even need to have good skills he has the pitcher's chemistry great card and then last but not least to top it all off ryan presley 2019 his best year in the closer role 18 location 18 velocity six to stamina winning streak finesse cleaning up your mess can't ask for much more than that maybe uh switching cleaning up your mess with last boss would be better but again like all the other cards in the lineup amazing perfected skill sets you can't do much better than all of this so again this whole entire team is a team anyone would kill for the moment they saw it foo you've done an amazing job upgrading this team and developing it only thing is you need or you don't even need really anything but you would really like to have kyle tucker or Jordan alvarez as a signature to round off your lineup but Fu, I can't praise you enough for how great your team is. It's simply amazing. It's out of this world. And you have done a very great job at making this team what it has come to be. But thank you, Fu, for sending in your request. Uh, again, guys, should go ahead and show Fu some support. He does have a YouTube channel and he uh, does post some videos. So go ahead and support him. Go ahead and check out that live stream. Like I said, I'll leave it in a link in the top right corner of this video. But... Thank you, Fu, for your request again, and let's go and to the outro. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the showcasing today. We reviewed some amazing teams today from Fire Blaster to Pooper Scoopers to Fu's team. I mean, you can't do much better than these teams, guys. Uh, a lot of great skill sets, a lot of amazing trains, a lot of great potential with players that need development, and some of them that don't need development are just perfect. This video had the full bag, and I can't say how much fun I had reviewing these teams. I know it didn't sound like it at times, but trust me, guys, this was so much fun to review, to look over, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you guys want your team to be showcased, don't forget to leave a comment down below with your team name requesting to be showcased, and I will put you down on the list. Also, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to... Send an in-game friend request to 2018 Fireballs, and I'll be sure to accept you when the time comes to showcase your team. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this video. Also, go ahead and check out my social media links that I'll leave in the description box down below. I post extra MLB 9 innings content that I do off-camera, and I know you guys would enjoy that as well. But that's going to do it for today, like I said, guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your guys' day, and I'll see you in the next video.